All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank SPU tonight for having us tonight. And uh, the presenters who did an amazing job. I know I'm going to be using both of those apps. Um, my name is Daniel Linus. I am the CEO, CEO of this company. This is Alexio Dussel. He is the founder and CEO of the company. Today's my assistant. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to talk today about Wishy. This is Wishy, we call it the social greeting card. Uh, so, what you're about to see is what we think of as the true evolution of the greeting card. This is an over $20 billion a year industry. Uh, and it essentially hasn't changed in over 50 years. So let's get this demo going. Um, I'm going to walk you through the process of joining a card that a user has already created and show you some of the key features of that. Uh, so here we have the dashboard. Um, and we're going to go ahead and look at this, our feature card, Happy Birthday America. Now, um, if you take a look at the info panel, you can see the people who have joined the card. It shows you what kind of uh, aspects this card has. So basically, our cards can have three different pillars. We like to think of it as a voice pillar. We like to think of it as an unlimited signature board and a gift component. So all of these things come together on our card to create one wish you card. Um, so first of all, just pay attention to the to the play button. We're well, going to show you the voice component first. The creator of the card can go ahead and he can lead a song, kind of like this. He can lead a song or a chorus. Uh, he sings it into his own phone, and anybody that joins the card also sings it into his own phone. And on the back end, our code aligns the pitch corrections, uh, voice alignment, and puts all the voices together into one chorus. Uh, we also have a signature board that will go with any card. This is an unlimited signature board. Think of it as signing your high school yearbook. So basically, users are allowed to create a signature, add it to the board, place it inside it however they like, and when you're viewing, you could scroll through them, see individual pictures that are attached to the signatures. So it gives it that feel of a old school, high school yearbook type of thing. Uh, all right, so let's join this card live so you can see it work in action. Uh, there's basically two types of cards on our, on our platform. There are public cards and private cards. Public cards are more suited for celebrating national days or global events like 4th of July, Earth Day, maybe Teacher Appreciation Days. Um, they are able to raise uh, awareness for causes like breast cancer. Uh, the potential for these cards going viral is huge for every single one of the cards. And private cards are restricted just to the people who are invited, so basically for friends and family. But here's a key point to keep in mind for these cards. When anyone creates a wish you, even something as small as just for a circle of friends and family, no more than 10 or 20 people, a company like, say, Hallmark, <coughs> stops from selling 20 cards for that patient. So it's very powerful. And that's because, you know, if I create a wish you, I'm not going to go to the CVS and buy a card for the person I bought it for. And none of the friends I invite, they are all able to stay home, save their money, save their time, sign from the comfort of their own couch, and never, and just enjoy the free time that they have from these interrupt. Um, okay, so the first step we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and join. The first step is join that voice. And because you already heard that chorus, and to save you the pain, it seems to be saying, we're going to skip this step. Okay, so we're going to go straight to step two, which is a dedication page. So here you can go ahead and write a signature that you're going to place on the board. Uh, so it's happy birthday, Mary. So we're going to write that there. Mary's my girlfriend. I'm going to write happy birthday, Mary. Yeah, there it is. Excuse me, massive handwriting. It's, I can never read any of it. And I'm sure you guys can't read it either. You can scroll with two fingers. You can pinch and zoom to zoom in and out. Uh, you can go ahead and draw some, some doodles. I'll, I'll draw a heart for Mary here. And, oh, it's changing the color there. So we changed the color, we add a heart, and then we're gonna have some pictures that of uh, our times together to the board. Uh, so that's me and her. So you can go ahead and you can resize these however you want. You can rotate them, you can place them anywhere you want. It gives you total freedom to do whatever you want with your signature. Okay, so right now, we're gonna hit done, and this gives you your entire dedication that you can now place anywhere on the board. If you're colliding, the system won't let you place it. So that's just a little example there, but we're gonna find a spot. And before we move on from here, I just wanna talk a little bit about, about the boards. Um, consider this, statistics show that 90 percent of people who receive a paper card, they end up in the trash within the first week that they receive that card, okay? Now this pushing board only has about 10 to 15 signatures. 
but I assure you when your loved one receives a wish you with all of their friends and family's dedications on that one board, that's something they're going to keep forever. Okay. And another amazing fact is that the paper greeting card industry destroys roughly 5 million trees a year. Uh, I'm not even going to mention the tons of chemicals that they use to create these products. Uh, so there's a reason, just, just take that into account, there's a reason our company's called More Trees Incorporated. Alright, so from this step, once we hit done, we're going to move on to the next step, which is the gift component. Now this is a co-gift, a group gift that we're all getting together to buy from Eric. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pitch in. Uh, I see that the creator set up an Amazon gift card for Mary. We so far, 735 people have $735 have been chipped in. I'm going to add another 200 and Mary will give me a bunch of 25 <laughs> And done, and that's it. That's basically the entire process of joining the card. The sharing hub, sharing hub pops up. I can send this invitation to all of my friends through email, through text, or if it was a public card, I post it on my social media and try to get as many people as I wanted to join. Um, so, wrapping up, I just wanted to say a couple of things where we are right now. We're playing some marketing campaigns. We have uh, some YouTubers lined up that we're taking talks with, that they will, so they will create birthday, we'll create birthday cards for them and have them invite their followers to participate in the cards. We expect to see viral growth from that. Uh, we just launched our iOS app, it is available on the app store, it's called Wishu, with Y-O-O, -O, not O-U, -E, Wishu. Um, and Android will be ready in a couple of weeks. Um, uh, so, I guess with that, why don't we kick it off into Q&A and whatever else you have on that, I bet you people will ask. Okay, so thank you very much, <laughs> and let's kick it off into Q&A. Out. When I left the job a couple years ago, they actually gave me a picture and people signed the margin around with their signatures, and I actually have that on my wall. So I still like tactile things in this digital age. So do you have the ability to do something tactile? Sure. I'm not going to answer that. Can you that? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, the question was if we can print out those cards. Uh, Part of our monetization model comes from there, from that, from that and those type of features. Uh, right now, we allow users to see the cards online through the website, maybe even on the website, through the website or on the app. But if you want to download that card, and we also have the possibility of posting those pictures right on the front, uh, so you can have a picture for that for a wedding or for a you know a farewell from a company because you're retired, whatever it is, uh, you'll be able to download those cards for a price. Uh, so it will cost you know one dollar to download those cards, uh, and, and you know you can you can download them. Um, one of the trials that we did uh, in a hospital um, more than a year ago was with a kid, and his father you know picked out like a big, you know, this you know big huge uh, <laughs> um, kind of architectural type of, uh, of, uh, of uh, you know uh, papers, and and he has like uh, 500 signatures. So we'll be able to do that at a firm price. Yeah. First off, I think this is really brilliant. I, I, it's actually pretty well made as well, so congrats to you guys. Thank you. I have one particular question, because you said something very early and I, and about being able to merge the sounds of each person's voice mm -hmm. when they're making a salutation or they're singing songs. What made you guys decide to do this as opposed to going to an area that would focus on that? Because what we wanted to have was creating real value for somebody who receives the card. Because as long as there's a value for somebody who receives the card, it will be value for somebody that creates the card. And so, you know, our, our first um, uh, slogan was from everybody. And so we merged this, uh, we started toying with the voice component in the beginning. And then we merged the voice with the board application and we co gifting functionalities to make it into a, something that really came from everyone. And when it comes to uh, only the board, it was like a, like a, like a chair with, uh, with only three, three legs. You know, we, we wanted to have something else that, that increased that value. And the voice alignment uh, was something that um, really felt that was part of that. Um, and only, not only that, but our patent, uh, the golden nugget of our patent is based on the voice. So we're patenting and we're presenting patents in, here in the US and the EU. And the voice alignment is one of the uh, you know, um, 
lawyer, a patent lawyer across the other very patent scope is based on that uh, voice alignment is correction that we're you know, patenting the whole system. Yeah, that's why I asked. I said, wow, that's, that's a huge opportunity right there. And then the, <coughs> I know uh, a bunch of friends of mine, we tried aligning the video, and it was like a nightmare trying to do that. Or you have to, or if you align uh, music, you have to go with the beats. Uh, now we have to go into this uh, algorithm that uh, differentiates the syllables. But not only that, but we have to go through a whole process of, I don't want to be technical, noise gate and, and to drop that, the, 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 uh, the noise between the syllables. So they are recognizable and they can be aligned. So it's, um, yeah. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for sharing.